Hi, this is Tracy Fabian with KPI Online. Welcome to our video on how to use a dashboard. To get us started, let's look at the layout of the dashboard. You will find several tables, charts, and graphs on a dashboard. Each one of these tables, charts, and graphs is considered a component. One of the first things that you will notice on the dashboard is the time filter in the upper right hand corner. On this dashboard, we are currently looking at data for November 2009. If I wanted to look at data for October 2009, I can simply click the left arrow to go to the previous period. You will notice all of the components on the dashboard will be synchronized to that specific time period. By clicking the right arrow, I can go forward to the next time period. If I wanted to view a specific month, I could left click in the time filter click the option for calendar, I can then select the preferred month, let's say April. And the time period would update to April and the new dashboard would be updated with all of the components synchronized to that new time period. The KPI Online BI Professional Model has several dashboards for monitoring and analyzing revenue, inventory, expenses, accounts receivable and accounts payable data. To switch to a different dashboard, you can use the links near the top of the dashboard. Let's go to the revenue dashboards. Within this collection, you have dashboards for viewing the top 15 customers, revenue trends, top 15 products, and also sales executive analysis. Let's go to the top 15 customers dashboard for a moment. In this dashboard and in others, you will find dimension filters. They are located directly underneath the links for additional dashboards. The dimension filters can be used to quickly filter the data on a dashboard. Currently, we are looking at the top 15 customers for all product categories, all products, all regions, and all sales executives. If I wanted to narrow the focus to just one particular product category, let's say computer items, I can click in the box to the right of all product category and I will get a drop down. Simply check the product category you would like to see and then click the blue check mark in the bottom right hand corner. By selecting computer items, the data on the table will be updated to reflect the top 15 customers for just computer items. You can then continue to narrow your focus by using other dimension filters on the dashboards. Additionally, there are four icons near the top right hand corner to assist you in using the tool as well. To return to the default dashboard, you can click the home icon. To send feedback to KPI Online, select the send comment icon. To print a dashboard, click the print icon. And then finally, to sign off of KPI Online, select the exit icon. For questions or assistance using KPI Online, please click the live support icon in the upper right hand corner of the dashboards or feel free to send us an email at support at kpionline.com.